Esteemed master of Dragonfire, will we meet again? I must congratulate you on becoming the first Dragon Rider since King Arthur. But I fear there's no time for celebrations. The dragon spirit appeared over the flames and illuminated the once glorious history of the city through her words. Long ago, humans and dragon spirits were as one, with glory and prosperity abundant. But among some, there grew a longing for eternal life. Their desire awoke the unmelted from their eternal slumber. Conflict grew and the dragon's flame was extinguished. Dragons fell and the long winter came. The city's glory faded under frost. When the gusts of snow came, we lifted our weapons. Summit the tower and find its undying flame! Dragons can see much further than humans. Lord Blacksmith, you should try letting your dragon scout for information. All right, I'll try to ask the dragon to scout the area outside Dragon's Hall. The unmelted, an unmelted legion is approaching Dragon's Hall. And back! We must prepare for battle. We'll need weapons. The strongest dragon we can raise. And sufficient troops. I know a place where we can recruit more men. Let me do it. Looks easy. Done. Mission, I can't I'll take care of it, my lord. I can do it myself. All done. That's all right. <laughs> 
Leave it to me. Let me do it. Done. Finally, the battle's over. I'm so tired. I just need some sleep. Those are fake, and I couldn't care less. <laughs>